far from abandoning its atomic program, North Korea is now reportedly seeking international recognition as a nuclear-armed state. Now, the U.S. has laid out disarmament issues as a condition for talks. But Pyongyang's official newspaper says if negotiations happen, it'll be between equal nuclear-armed nations. Let's discuss the North's atomic aspirations now with the editor of a Japan-based news website, that of James Corbett, now joining us live here on RT. And uh, James, good to see you today. This is an exclusive group, only uh, seven nations in it. Do you think North Korea will be allowed to join it? Well, I mean, the question is whether or not that anyone has the right to say whether or not they are allowed to be a part of this exclusive club. And I think what we have to understand right now is that North Korea is calling out these other nations on the nuclear hypocrisy that's been hardwired into international relations for a long time now. And if you look at the actual statement that was made, they said, for example, our position is clear, never dream of denuclearization on the Korean peninsula before denuclearization of the world is realized. But James, I'm, I'm sorry, be... James, we're already seeing China, though. China's already jumped in to say that in no way will it accept a nuclear-armed Pyongyang. Are you buying it? I think that what China is doing is trying to defuse a situation that could spill over into a military conflict that would obviously be disastrous for China's policies in the region because if in the event of North Korea uh, government fall, uh, being toppled, there would be an incredible influx of refugees into China. So China has its own stake in the game. But I think that this really has to be seen as a, as a poke in the eye at the, uh, the community that assembled in Seoul last year at the Nuclear Security Summit in 2012 to talk about denuclearization of the world, but of course that was directed specifically at countries like North Korea and Iran, which weren't invited to the summit. So I think this has to be seen as calling those nations out on the hypocrisy. All right, now, James, we've certainly been well aware of the, uh, the, the rise in tensions all around the peninsula over, the, over recent weeks. In fact, the U.S. now has cancelled war games and missile tests, all to cool tensions on the peninsula, though it uh, doesn't seem to have worked. What uh, could be next? Well, I think it's also important to put that in the context of the fact that those uh, war games were taking place uh, in accordance with a plan that was developed by the Obama administration. It was reported on by the Wall Street Journal earlier this month called The Playbook, which was specifically designed to provoke uh, North Korea in the latest Korean war games simulations, which happen, of course, every year. These uh, war games taking place with B-52 and B-2 nuclear-capable nuclear bombers dropping dummy munitions on the Korean peninsula and F-10... 22 advanced fighter jets. It was uh, specifically part of a provocation to get North Korea to react, and perhaps they miscalculated just how much North Korea would react. But at any rate, right now, what we have is uh, Guam, for example, seeing more missile defense, Japan seeing more missile defense, uh, contractors throughout the region receiving more money. North Korea is getting at least overtures from U.S. and South Korea that they will get more uh, uh, play at the, t the negotiating table. And China has so far managed to maintain North Korea, uh, is stopping it from to uh, toppling. So everyone has gotten what they wanted out of this latest ploy. So I think from, from here, what we're going to see is at least some sort of attempt at some sort of talks. But how fruitful those talks will be is, um, I think, another matter entirely. Well, you talk about hopeful uh, talks and hopeful fruitful talks. So, James, I'm running very low on time here. Very quickly, though, if I may, uh, uh, China is warning that a fourth nuclear bomb test in North Korea could be imminent. Uh, what is the North trying to prove at this point now? Well, again, those promises aren't worth the paper they're not written on. Um, th we've heard this rhetoric before. So far, nothing has materialized. So I don't think we should believe it until we see it. But at any rate, um, uh, I think it just has to be seen as part of the, uh, the game that's being played right now anyway. And uh, it has succeeded at least this far in getting the U.S. and South Korea to at least contemplate talks with North Korea again. So again, I think this has to be seen as a larger part of a larger calculus that's going on in the region right now. All right, James Corbett, editor of the Japan-based news website. James Corbett. Corbett, thank you for joining us here on RT today.